Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add a donation board into your Roblox game. So just before the video begins, I would just like to say that I do actually have my own donation game, which includes the donation board. So if you did want to come and support me, I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get into the video. So to start off this tutorial, what we're going to want to make sure is open is Explorer and Properties. If Explorer and Properties are not open, all you want to do is go to the top bar here where it says View. Click on View. And you want to select Explorer and Properties. Explorer and Properties, make sure they are clicked down. And they should pop up somewhere on your screen. For this tutorial, we will also be needing Toolbox. So you just want to go back to the Home area here and click on Toolbox. So now that we've got Explorer and Properties and also Toolbox open, we're going to now want to go find the donation board. For this tutorial, we will be using Donation Board by Year underscore Ember. This link to the donation board will be down in the description below, so you can easily find it. So what we want to do now, after we've found the donation board, we want to click Get, so it goes into our inventory. This is completely free, so you can just click Get now. So now this purchase has been completed, and we can try this donation board in Studio. So let's head back to Studio. So now that we have purchased the donation board, what we're going to want to do is go to our toolbox here. Your toolbox should look something like this. We want to go to the top bar here and click on Inventory. And you should be able to see your donation board, so we just want to click on the donation board. And yes, this does include six scripts. This, these scripts will actually make the donation board work. So you just want to click OK. So now that the board has loaded, what we want to do is remove toolbox. So you can simply click on toolbox here. Or click on the X right there. And now we want to click on the donation board. We want to click down the ar down arrow there. We want to click on the, the delete me. Click backspace, delete that from the So part. now that we have removed the delete me part, we want to click back on the donation board. And we want to head over to the products. You guys can feel free to read through the read me. That's completely up to you. But we just want to head over to products. So now that we have opened the product script, we want to head back to the main base plate. Just click on the top bar here. You should see your products there. And we want to go to File, Publish to Roblox. You want to publish your game to Roblox. I've already published my game to Roblox, but if you haven't published your game to Roblox yet, make sure to go and create a game name and whatnot. Just follow all the steps that pop up on your screen. Then we want to head over to Roblox. So now that we are on the main Roblox page, we want to head over to the top bar here and click on Create. Now we want to select the game that we are wanting to put the donation board in. So for this tutorial, I'm clicking on Scripting Tutorials. Click on the Start Place Scripting Tutorial. This should take you to the main game page where you are able to play the game. But we can't play the game just yet. But we want to go to the three dots here in the top right corner. And we want to click on Configure This Experience. Then we want to go to the side here. Click on Developer Product. So now that we have got Developer Products loaded up, we want to click on Create new. Now, basically, this is where we're going to adjust the prices of the donation board buttons. So, how much Robux people can donate in a click of a button. So, for example, I'm going to name this one, let's say, let's go five Robux. Okay, we'll call this one five Robux, and we want to do the price in Robux five. You can select an image, but it's not necessary. That's all you want to do, and we just want to click create. And as you can see, we have an exclusive ID number, which we will replace into the script. So I'm going to make four more, and then we will get back to adjusting the script. So now that I've created my developer products, as you guys can see, I've got a 5 Robux, 10 Robux, 50 Robux, and 100 Robux. What we want to do, we want to take the 5 Robux ID, or the first uh, Robux ID that you get. Take that ID, just copy that. Now we want to head back to Studio. Now we want to highlight the first number in the 5 Robux area. Delete that code and we want to paste that one by going Control V or right clicking and uh, selecting paste. As you can see we have now added our own ID. And we want to do this until we have completed it through the 10, 50 and 100. So now that we have inserted all our new product IDs into here, that is basically all the scripting done. If you do want to add more buttons, all you simply do is you take this part of the script. Here we go. We take that part of the script and we paste it right below. 
as you can see we're just going to continue the part of the script and you can change this to whatever let's just say we want to change it to a thousand we can change that to a thousand and you just all you want to do is just make a different uh, developer product and insert it in there and so on you can make as many do donation buttons as you would like it's completely up to you but for this tutorial I'm just going to stick with four donation buttons. So now we're going to want to go and click onto the board and make sure that the board is indeed anchored. So we just click anchor there in the home area on the board. And now to make the actual person move and do animations, all we want to do is go to Explorer and find the uh, R15 loader. And we want to make and unanchor that. There you go, just simply unanchor that and then the avatar will move. Once we have completed everything that we have needed to complete for the donation board, go to File, Publish to Rob. Now that we have completed everything for the donation board to work, let's go As test that. As you guys can that. see, we have now loaded into the Roblox game that has the donation board. As you can see, the donation board is right here. As you can see, the avatar is moving, but there are no donators yet. I'll do a test donate in a second. As you can see, all the buttons there. But let's see what happens if I click the Donate 5 Robux. As you can see, a 5 Robux transaction icon will pop up. Let's purchase. And as you can see, just click OK. And in a couple of seconds, my name should pop up. As you guys can see, my Roblox avatar has popped up there. And as you can see, my Roblox username and the amount of Robux I've donated. Has become on if you are a little bit confused or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord. I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.